Hi guys, so in today's video we're going to be taking a look at one of the hottest puzzle book niches on Amazon and we're going to find the best-selling books for it, see how they're doing, how many sales they're getting and then reverse engineering all of your top keywords and then finding the best sub niches for this type of book that you could use yourself. All right, so let's just dive right into it. So here we're on the Amazon bestseller page for math games book category. And here we can see the number one selling book is this Sudoku book. And in case you're wondering, all of this data is populated by our uh, Chrome extension called Titans Quick View. It's a free tool that you can use. And it's just really useful when doing research and niche validation on Amazon. And in here you can see that it will give you all of the categories. It will tell you if the book is independently published or not, which is really important. Because the more independently published books they are for a niche or for a search term, the better chances you also have as being an independent publisher yourself. And then here you're also going to see sales estimates. So here we can see that this book is getting 60 sales per day and per month that's 1,700 book sales. So you can see that this category is really popular and then we can just look at some others too. Here the second best-selling book we can see is uh, published in June 2024. So that's also one thing we always want to look at is, is the niche saturated or not? And one way of easily telling that is to see if brand new books are ranking and doing well within that category. So this book was published in June 5th and it's already ranking and doing really well. So that is a good indicator that there is still room for other people within this niche to get ranked on Amazon. All right, so now that we have a quick overview of just the best-selling books, we're just gonna look at the search results. All right, so jumping into the search results on Amazon now, we have typed in here Sudoku puzzle book for adults to see what this niche is all about and to see how good this might be. And one thing I also want to make really clear, some people on YouTube or on Facebook will tell you that a niche is saturated or just too competitive or you have no chance of ranking on page one. And that is often not very true. And there's a few reasons for that. One, they're either not fully educated and they're not actually successful on Amazon KDP. So they don't really know what it takes to rank on page one and what to look out for. And some people might tell you that it's too competitive because they're in this niche themselves and they don't want you creating books and competing against them on page one. So just always keep that in mind. Always check every niche for yourself. Never listen to someone who tells you it's too competitive and just always do your own research on Amazon. So Sudoku books is a niche where you can often hear that it's saturated or it's not possible anymore and stuff like that. So here I'm just gonna show you the reasons of why that's not true. So the first thing we can see here is that the total search results is 6,475. So that is not too high, that is actually quite low, especially considering how many books there are on Amazon. So that's one indicator. Obviously the lower the better, but if it's in the thousands, there's no problem with that, especially if you're more familiar with um, Amazon KDP and have some experience. So the next here, just one thing to really look at that is important is the independently published amount of books. So here we can see that there's 33 books on page one that are independently published. So 33 out of the 48 books on page one were published by people like myself and yourself. So that is always good. If the independently published number is really like close to zero or zero, then it's something you want to be aware of. But the higher it is, the better it is for all of us. Here, looking at the Titans Deep View tool, we can see that there are 16 books that have less than 50 reviews on page one. So that is just another indication that there's room for other people to still make it on page one. Obviously the more books there are that have less reviews, the better. And then here, the other metric that's really important is to see how many books do we have on page one that have under five reviews. Obviously the books that have less than five reviews will likely be very new books. So we want to see that there's new books always ranking on page one for a niche that we're considering. So seeing that there are six books with less than five reviews, that's a really, really good sign. And then here we have also the search volume. So we can see that for this exact keywords, there's an approximate 3,700 people looking for this every single month. So this is really, really good. And then here, this top bar that you see right here, this is our free Titans Quick View Chrome extension. So you can download that on the Google Chrome store and just type in Titans Quick View and you'll find it. And here we have the demand and opportunity scores. So we can see that the demand is a five and our algorithm is designed to go from number one to number nine, and the higher the number, 
the more the demand is. So a five is right in the middle and it is still quite a good demand score. We've also colored these numbers to make it easier to indicate and for you to see if it might be good or bad. So green would be good, yellow would be not as good, but still possibly considerable. Orange would be not so good and probably you'd want to stay away from it. And then red would be the lowest numbers and it's something that you wouldn't want to consider at all. And then the same goes for the opportunity score. The opportunity score is to give you an estimate of how good the opportunity might be for you to get sales for this keyword and for you to rank on page one for this keyword. And these numbers for the opportunity score also go from one through nine, nine being the highest. So these are algorithms that we have created to help you make the decision making easier and faster for Amazon KDP, but these don't have to be fully accurate. So always just double check the niche yourself and really validate it with your own eyes. Never fully trust one tool, no matter what tool it is. Always look at the niche yourself. And that is why we built this Chrome extension directly onto the Amazon website, because if you're using a tool that's not directly on the website, it makes it really hard for you to see the data from Amazon itself. So always do your research as close to the source as you can. All right, so moving right along, let's just take a look here. And then here we can see all of the, the top selling books. So the first four will be sponsored products, which will be Amazon ads. And then here we can see the first organic ranking book, which is the book we've already seen. And all of this data here, all of these boxes, this is also generated for free by our Titans Quick View Chrome extension. So you can feel free to download that. And if you're interested to see the BSR graph, for example, you just click on that button. And then here, our tool will give you not only the bestseller rank over the last 30 days, but you can also see the list pricing, you can see the review counts and all of that. So this is really useful when you reverse engineering a competitor's book to see what kind of launching strategy they might have had how they're doing with their bestseller rank over a long period of time. Like, are they getting more sales over time? Are they getting worse over time? It's just something interesting to look at. And this is also just really useful in general. So here we can see some other books. These are all independently published. So that is what I was talking about earlier. You want to make sure that they're not just published by some a larger company because they could be buying books in bulk and getting cheaper prices than us. And then it would be a competitive advantage that we don't have. But here, most of these books are independently published, they're ranking high, which is perfect for us to see. So this one was published in 2023, 2023, 2024. And obviously, we want to also find books that are published recently, because if they can do it, so can we. All right, so now when we look at some keywords, so once you have a niche that you like, obviously, you want to find other potential niches. And the easiest way to do that is just by using our Titans Pro tool. So always when using this tool, start with a broader niche just to get more ideas. So here we're going to look at puzzle books to see what kind of smaller niches might be good for us. So here we can also see that Sudoku books medium to hard could be a good one. We can see that the opportunity is an eight. Here we can see Sudoku puzzle books easy has a opportunity score of nine. So let's just also take a look at that niche. So we can already see that Amazon is showing only 3000 results. So it is much less than the other one. And the demand is a five, so that is also good. So obviously when you're looking for a niche, when you niche down, it is really good to do because not only can you in the future rank for Sudoku puzzle books easy, but let's say you, you create a book that's Sudoku puzzle books easy to medium. So now you have a longer tail keyword, but then you also could rank for Sudoku puzzle books easy. You can also rank for Sudoku puzzle book. You can also rank for Sudoku puzzles, Sudoku book. And you get the idea. So that is why you also always want to niche down because niching down doesn't mean you only rank for that long tail keywords. You can also rank for these really broad keywords. But starting with the niche keyword and trying to focus on that long tail keyword is just easiest to get ranking. And then as your book gets more sales and gets more established on Amazon, that is when you start ranking for bigger keywords and bigger keywords. And that is also what you can incorporate with your Amazon ads strategy. At the beginning, you focus on longer tail keywords, if, especially if your ads budget is really low and small per day. And then as you get more sales organically and as your ad budget increases from other profits, then you can also start targeting more broad niches on the Amazon ads, like Sudoku books, Sudoku puzzles and stuff like that. All right, so here, same thing. We can see that there's an exact match of one person and this Niche, instead of having 48 search results on Amazon, it only has 16. So that is also interesting to see, but at least one book has the exact match. But that is also something that could be beneficial to us because not everybody's targeting this keyword. 
So you can use this keyword or a, a slight variation of it. And then that could be a competitive advantage for you. And then here we can see that there are 12 independently published books. And that is amazing to see because that is 12 out of the 16 books. So almost all of them were independently published. So that's just another sign that this is not saturated, it's not too hard, it is not too competitive, but it will take obviously a high quality book with the right keywords, the right title and the right pricing. So always keep that in mind. So the publishing a book, it requires everything to be perfect, not just an easy and quick book and publish it and done. You, you need to put in the work, you need to do it right. And then if you do do it right in a smaller niche, then you will have success. So here we can also see that there's 15 out of the 16 books have less than 50 reviews and two out of the 16 books have less than five reviews. So that's exactly what we want to see. And the search volume is also good for this keyword, 3,500 estimated for this month, every 30 days. And then another cool thing I forgot to show you earlier is this section right here. So this is where it's used in product titles for page one. So this is really great when you're coming up with your product title or your book title and you want to see what the top competitors are using in their titles. So here we can see that the word Sudoku is used 34 times between the title and the subtitle. We can see that puzzles was used 27 times, easy was used 26 times, four was used 23 times, adults 18 times, book 16 times, the word solution 14 times, puzzle 12 times, so there's also a difference between puzzle and puzzles. Um, some people will tell you that using plural or singular doesn't matter. And they'll also tell you the same thing with Amazon ads, but that is just not fully true. The Amazon algorithm is very accurate and good, but it is not perfect. So sometimes you will find an advantage by either using the word puzzle or puzzles. Obviously you need to make sure it's grammatically correct, but do keep that in mind that sometimes slight variations will be easier to rank for and easier to do Amazon ads with and more profitable. So always test out plural, singulars and slight variations and you'll see good results, I'm sure. So here looking down, we can see that this is the first organic ranking book here. This was created in 2018 and it was independently published. So that is good. Let's just see if we can find a more recently published book. So this is in July, 2023. So about one year ago. So that's not too old, also good. Let's just see if we can find one book that was published in 2024. All right, so here we can see there's one book that was published at the end of April, so that is really good. So this is just a bit of an overview of how you can do niche research and validate it. It is really important that you yourself with your own eyes validate every niche that you go for. Don't listen to any tool, no matter what tool it is. Doesn't matter if it's ours or Helium 10 or Publish a Rocket or any tool. Always go to amazon.com and look at it for yourself. It is good for you to get this data and for you to get a feeling for the niche and see what kind of books there are. All right, so let's reverse engineer the top selling book for the Sudoku niche. So we can go to our Titans Retro Review tool and then all you need to do is copy and paste the ASIN for any book and then click on generate results. And then here you're going to see our tool reverse engineering all of the keywords that this book is ranking for and trying to rank for. So here we can see that this book is ranking for Sudoku puzzles for adults and it is the number two ranking book. Here we can see Sudoku puzzle book for adults, also number two Sudoku puzzles, 1000 Sudoku books for adults. And you get the idea and here it will tell you the ranks, the different ranks it has. It will also give you the estimated monthly search volume for each of these keywords. So we can see that some of these are actually really, really high. Like Sudoku puzzles has a estimated search volume of 13,000 Sudoku puzzle. 12,000. And then the other cool thing is it will give you all of the search results. So here you can see how competitive a niche might be, how many search results there are for each of them. And then of course you have our popular demand and opportunity scores. So this will just give you a good idea of what this book is ranking for and it can give you inspiration for all the keywords you can use for your Amazon ads. It can give you ideas for the seven backend keywords and just what you might want to use in your title and subtitle and the main niches that your goal would be to rank for. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna show you is the KDP BSR sales calculator. And this is just a fun free tool where you can estimate how much royalties a book is making. So here I took the best-selling Sudoku book, which had a best-selling rank of 422, and then clicked on calculate sales, and then I entered in the details for the book and then so if it's a paperback what country it is in what kind of ink it's using how many pages and then the price of the book 
And in here, you're going to see that the total book royalties is $3,000 per month. So this is just a really good estimate. The other cool thing about this tool is that you can figure out what the ACOS break even point is. So this is something that's really important for Amazon ads. And the, a the ACOS break even point is a statistic that tells you whether or not your Amazon ad is profitable or not. So for your Amazon ads, uh, you had an ACoS over 25%, you would know that you're losing money. And if you're doing Amazon ads for this book and it was lower than 25%, you would know that you're actually making a profit from the ad itself. And obviously that is always the goal. And then just one more thing to say here, there are some tools that give you estimates for sales, but they don't do the estimates based on the number of pages and the price of the book. And that is something that can lead to even higher inaccuracies because the royalties are based on how many pages the book has and the price of the book. Obviously, the lower the price of the book, the less the royalties would be. So this is something to keep in mind. Our estimates are not perfect either, but we have tried to make it as accurate as possible. So that is why we include every detail that matters for the estimated royalties. All right, so I hope you found this tool useful. What we used here was the Titans Quick View tool, the Titans Deep View tool, and then the Titans Red Review tool, and then our free KDP BSR sales calculator. All right, so I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions about the tool, you can message me on the website by clicking on the support tab. And if you have any wishes for future videos, leave them down in the comments below. And then yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.